well, Nanny finished the pupating. Okay, so they finish pupating. Oh no, I mean they are not pupils anymore. And oh, the wow. Nanny turning black. Oh, by the way, teacher, yeah. this one bit me. Yeah, this one bit me really hard, and I said. One or two times. The first two times were very little, and I said it doesn't hurt a bit. Mm -hmm. Nope. But then, oh. for the third time, oh, it's going to tumble. He <laughs> <laughs> bit a bit harder. Are they the same kind of beetle or different kind? The of same beetle? kind of beetles. Uh, yeah. By the way, teacher. Okay. Oh. They are going, this one is going to do a tumble now. Uh, I think oh. it's going to fall, no! Oh, I see, he's letting go. <laughs> this one is a she, not a, oh, don't do it again. I think it's going to clip me again. Ouch. Okay, so <laughs> he doesn't clip me now. Okay, oh, that's this is a female and this is a male. Oh, do they have names? Um, no, but I don't even know their, you know, scientific name. Ah, I see. How many beetles do you have now? Hmm, so many. Okay, so there many. are two ones that are still chrysalises mm -hmm. and one of them is a rainbow star beetle wow. a female one oops is going to fall okay so <laughs> i'll better put them back into the cups before they try to make up oh no don't do it again no okay i'm going to put them back before they make a fuss okay mm. And this one, is claws are like sticky glue. Oh my goodness. Ouch! Oh. It bit me! The female! It bit me! Oh no. Maybe, are, are they, um, are they not used to crawling on people yet? Um, they are used to it. And they can oh, don't go for it again. Okay, are they it bite this cup? Oh, <laughs> look at that. It did bite the cup. Okay. It seems like they don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, just like little monkeys screaming onto somebody's back. It's true. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, That's by the weird. way, I'll show you my cute griffin pictures. Oh, yeah. Ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. <gasps> oh, that's a great griffin. Wow. That's actually a cute griffin. I think it's wonderful. I, I mean, it's great, like it's very well drawn. You've done a great job, Jamie. Okay. Very cute. Next. Uh, how about this? Oh, I love the colors. Oh, I think this one is very cute. Yep, a cute purple griffin. Well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Ah, but See? Griffin. Look, there is a full moon. And by the way, I did see a full moon yesterday. Wow, fantastic. Oh, very the male has flipped onto his back. Okay, I'll give it this another flip in the right direction. Okay, I'll put it back. Okay, now. Oh, he's getting a bit naughty. <laughs> like me, I'm naughty too. Okay, how about this one? Oh, what kind of griffin is this? Okay, a majestic griffin. 
beautiful. Is it golden? It looks yellow. Does it look yellow? Okay, how about this? Mm. Maybe white? Is it white or is it kind of yellow or golden? Mm, probably white. White, okay. Sometimes I can't tell because the, the camera uh, might change with yes, the Yes, so it's sure. yeah. my next problem. But well, sometimes we don't see very clearly, so we have to use the LED light. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, I love this majestic griffin. It's beautiful. Okay, oh, next one. Okay, how about this one? Gold? It, again, it looks gold, but is it white or is it gold? Okay, how about this? Whoa, too big. Okay, gold. It's very big. <laughs> okay, how about this? Whoa, look. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's definitely gold or yellow because the stars gold. are white. It's gold. Okay, I mm. used, mm, I think I used gold pearl. Gold well, pearl. I used that color to draw this griffin. It is wonderful. I love his wings. They are so detailed and beautiful. Okay, how about an ornamental griffin? Oh, okay. This is an ornamental griffin. Wait. Wait a minute, is this one a bit similar to this one? Okay, it's the white so one way. and the yellow one. I think they look a bit like twins. They are a bit similar. The wings are a bit similar and the design of the, his neck and his legs and his body. A bit similar. Yep. Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay, so I copied it from a drawing. Okay, how about this one? Whoa! Look at this one! Look at these colors! Beautiful! Okay, this is a Persian griffin. Mmm, it's a little different from the others. Does this look a bit majestic? I think it looks majestic. What do you think? Yep. Majestic. Okay, so talking of griffins, well, my friends broke her flats. Okay, she lives in a flat. Well, the first flat is called Griffin Wong. Griffin Wong, okay, outside Griffin Wong, there are a lot of stone griffins. Beautiful. They are statues and they look, well, they look very majestic. Are they really big? Yeah. Big. Wow. Okay, and then in Griffin 5, okay, my friend Tina lives in Griffin 5. Well, in Griffin 5, well, in another lobby, there is another Griffin. Okay, a statue. Well, that one looks majestic too. Beautiful. Are they the same or are they slightly different? Um, they look a bit different. Oh, very nice. How many Griffin buildings are there? Five or um, more? I think there are five. Fantastic. Five Griffin buildings. Okay, <laughs> last one, look. Does this look a bit cute? Okay, I need to see like my camera. Cute. Okay. This looks, does this look a bit cute? Oh, I think so. Mm -hmm. Can you see the grass now? Okay, up. Yeah. But now can we can't see the, see the stars. Okay, now this. Okay, move a bit like this. Great. There we go. Yeah, I can see both. Okay. Lovely. I, I think he's a bit cute because his eyes are cute and uh, he, he's a bit round. It makes him look very cute. Like and it. can you see the full moon now? I can see the full moon. It's beautiful. And I also drew the stars. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, oh, I think your camera has got a bit improvements. Okay, so last time you didn't use that blackboard, 
and today you used the blackboard. Yeah, I got a blackboard. <laughs> okay, and the blackboard says, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now it says hello, but sometimes I can use it to talk about different things or show different pictures. So I like it. I like my Hello, blackboard. look. Oh, what is it? Rhino beetles. Whoa, this one's a bit wobbly. These are beautiful. Did your dad make these? Yep. These are origami rhinoceros beetles. You can make anything yeah. out of origami. Rhino beetles, stag beetles, even flowers uh -huh. and birds. These are and also, you can make a rhinoceros beetle in flight. Okay, so that is when the rhinoceros beetle opens its nature and two wings pop out. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, your, your dad is a great origami artist. He makes well, beautiful. Well, he actually can't do origami, but my aunt can do origami. Oh, your aunt. Ah, very She cool. can make paper cranes out of origami. Lovely. Do you like doing origami? Um, yes and no. Doing origami is interesting, but it can be a bit tricky. Oh, why? Because, okay, so these two rhino beetles, okay, they're actually in the advanced origami. If you are in the advanced, it will be a bit tricky. Well, at first, it's a bit easy, and then it turns out to be a bit tricky. Like learning English. Very true. <laughs> okay, oh, next okay. one. Oh, this one. Uh, oh. Okay, this way. Okay, how about this way? Okay. Very. Uh, okay, here. You, this is a stamp video. I cut it out of paper. I actually drew oh. it and then I cut it out of paper. Wow, that's a great drawing. Well done. Okay, Very next good. one. Hello, how about this one? Oh, this one is great too. Did you draw this too? Yep. Oh, wowee. Very nice. And also, look. This one appears in a video game. Well, the video game is called The New Beetle King. Okay, so actually, to play this game, first you go like this, paper, scissors, rock. And then, well, if the person went rock, it has, the person who went rock has got a game card. And the game card has got an insect on it. And also, if you're going to play this game, also actually, there are some buttons to play. Teacher? Ah, so so um, you have you do rock paper scissors, and then the winner has a card of an insect. Is well, right? the losers have a card too. Ah, and what happens with the cards? Uh, do they well, battle or? Well, not with the card. Well, you also use well something that looks like a computer. Well, a screen <laughs> to play. Well, oh my goodness! And then, well, two insects, or maybe a dwarf insects, pop out on the screen. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Well, you not real ones. Them? They are fake ones. No, they are a bit like three D. Ah, fantastic! And uh, there are different kinds of insects, like rhinoceros beetle, praying mantis, things like that. Yeah. And also, some of the insects I know. I know some of the insects, like the blue morpho. Blue, what is it called? A blue morpho. That is a butterfly. What? Well, it is blue. Oh, I know this one. They are beautiful. Yep. Sapphire blue. Oh, okay. Okay, another briefing drawing. Okay, see this? 
That one is very blue too. No, I mean the griffin. Okay, the griffin uh -oh. looks actually a bit similar to the one I showed you earlier. But um. the one I showed you earlier, you know the Persian griffin hasn't got wings, but this one has got wings. And do you know who turned into this griffin? Mighty Johnny who? can turn into a griffin. Mighty Johnny can turn into a griffin? That's yes, amazing. that is her new superpower. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we going to read about Mighty Johnny today? Um, yes. Okay. Last one. Wait. Okay. This one. Hello. See this one? Ooh. This one is very small. This what one is, is it a, a baby grub. A baby grub. Uh, actually, it is a baby, well, I think it is a star beetle, a baby star beetle, well, it is a grub. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you make such wonderful drawings, Jamie. Lovely, lovely. All right. So, I'm so excited to see the next Okay, by the way, can we read these two? We've never ever read these two things. Okay. The annoying thing about my sister. Can Tomboy Jenny ever get along with Girlie Alicia? Okay, next one. The annoying thing about my sister. Number one, she always, always, always tells me when we have a fight or an argument. Number two, she stole my animals when she invited her friends to our house. Number three, she's a very, very girly girl. Number four, she stole my lovely night with that, even though everyone has watched Neon... Wait, I need a pen. I need to correct something. Okay, I'll type it out here. Okay. Worst? Wait. Whoa! Worst? <laughs> thing. Okay, I'll... Wait, I need a pen. Okay, annoying, cross out. The worst thing about my sister movie trailer and jam sponge cake is my favorite treat at night. Wait, okay, number five. She stole my best friend Alice away even though she's got heaps and heaps of best friends already. Number six, she's a cry baby. I mean, when dad takes my side, she starts to cry. <laughs> oh, <no>. Like this. <laughs> this is when she cries. <laughs> oh, okay, oh. <laughs> this is actually in the story, okay? This is in the story. Oh, by the way, have you tried out singing? I mean, have you tried singing the two songs? Well, you'll play your part and it's time to be awesome, those two songs. Yes, I looked them up and I saw them on YouTube. Uh, they have a whole video. They were wonderful. Yep, and there are a lot of ponies. Well, in Equestria. There are a lot of ah. flying horses, unicorns, and lots and lots of other horses and ponies. Mm -hmm. I need to show this to my niece and nephew. I think they would like this very much. They don't know my little pony. Okay, and in My Little Pony, okay, so in It's Time to Be Awesome, there are actually, there's actually a seagull and some power kids. Yes, I saw that, that some of the animals, they're, they're like pirate animals, yes? Okay, a pirate seagull and, well, those, little, those powers that look a bit like power kids, well, they're green. Oh. Ah, but they are like pirates? Yep. Pirates? Mmm, yeah. Wait, by the way, did you notice something? Okay, like this. Okay. Pirate rhymes with pirate. Oh, <laughs> this rhymes! So those green little pa well, those green ones are pirates. Okay, I mean the birds. <laughs> and also there's even a White, okay, a white seagull. Mm -hmm. Ah, S-E-A, S-E-A-G-U-L-L. -L. Oh, yes. 
I made a mistake because C. Okay, this C rhymes with C. It's true. They have the same sound. They do. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, oh, Casey. look. There is some... this blue and yellow parrot here. I mean, a bird. Look. Oh, down here. That one is called Polly. Polly the parrot. Yep. Lovely. <laughs> Very good. Ah, uh, Jenya, I have stars for you from yep. all of your beautiful pictures. So well done. Ah, uh, but I'm so excited to read the story. Okay. Can we Ready? Read the story? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Chapter eight, part one. It felt so weird giving Tom, Horace, and Tony the three letters. The three boys looked like they didn't want to accept the three letters. But Mr. Tom told Tom and his two best friends that I gave them the three letters to apologize to them. When Alicia saw this, no, not Alicia. When Alice saw this, she thought that I was giving the three boys birthday invitation cards and was forgetting that I was best friends with her. Don't be silly, Alice. <laughs> well done. Oh, also, there are some facts I can tell you. Okay, so oh. there is actually a kind of beetle which is fluffy. <laughs> a fluffy beetle? Yep, a pink one. Wow. And black. A pink and black one. It is very fluffy. Well, it has got some fluff. Well, I think that is fur, and that one is very fluffy. Okay, oh, I'll show you that one. Just a minute. Okay, just a minute. I need to find it. Woo! Can you see it now? Oh, it has wings too. It can fly. And it is so fluffy. See the white Isn't bits? Isn't it fluffy? Look at the white bits, <laughs> they are a bit fluffy. This is a very cute beetle. Yep. <laughs> very nice. Okay. And also, did you know that beetles chew their food? We know that humans can chew their food. And actually, beetles can chew their food. I know that because I've seen them chew their food like this. <laughs> Wasps can cool do that. Fact. Even, even male stag beetles and female stag beetles do that. Wow, that's a cool fact. I love and also that. another fact, well, the beetles can run very fast. The tiger beetle is green. And it doesn't eat grass, it eats meat. It oh, eats other like insects. Tiger. And the tiger beetle can run very fast. Uh -huh. So, shoo! Off it goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's And that beetle is a bit oh. rowdy. It sounds like a rowdy beetle, definitely. Okay. Ooh. Rowdy? Okay, it sounds like that person is stomping. Okay, remember this? Okay, I'm going to do the stomp, stomp, stomp thing. Okay, like this. <laughs> that is so funny. They go stomp. Well, <laughs> actually, it doesn't go stomp, stomp, stomp. Well, it actually is a bit rowdy. Not, well, it doesn't go stomp, stomp, quack a dee, stomp. <laughs> Very good. Okay, what happens next? It's and also, weird. these two beetles are a bit funny. Well, when I oh. give them some water to drink, they do water skating too. Really? They can skate on the water? Yep, and they can even walk on the water. So cool. That is a cool fact. I like it. Well, it Very doesn't cool. really happen in real life, but when I give them some water, they skated on the water. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm just oh. giving the three boys the three letters to say sorry. Anyway, it's not my birthday and I'm not inviting them to my birthday party. I explained. I paused. But you can come to my house to play because you're my BFF. 
Oh, Jenny, you're wonderful. You're my best friend. Said Alice, giving me a big hug. It's an ordinary day at school. Today is Wednesday, but wait time, it was great. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. So, by the way, uh -huh. in your country, Canada, okay, so there is a lake with sports. The spotted lake. Okay. Can I draw it? Okay, a mini one. I'll show you a mini version. Okay, whoa, it's a bit wobbly. It is. This is the lake it'd be in British Columbia. I know this lake. Well, actually, in Canada, it has got this lake too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it so, is a salt uh, it's a water in lake. Canada called, yeah, so in Canada, we have provinces. And this province is called British Columbia. That's where Spotted Lake is. Just a minute, I need to show you that. Uh huh. Okay, so here, see that? Um, wait. That's a very good picture. This one. Very good. Yeah. It's in Canada, actually. It is, yeah. It's in a province called BC or British Columbia. Mm. And uh, it's yes, a beautiful in province. BC. Mm -hmm. But we can't swim. I think we can't swim in it when there are spots. Uh, people don't don't like to swim very much in Spotted Lake. They look <laughs> wait. There are, they look okay. I saved this one. You know. It fell off. Oh. Okay, but it's still a bit lively. Okay, so remember. Okay, by the way, do you remember the time the female bit me, and I did say "ow" because it hurts. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Done. Excuse me. Okay. Before I went to play with Bonnie and this boy again. I told Alice that I'll ask mom to make sure if Alice could come to my house to play. Whoa! The next one is falling off! Okay, this one. Another one that bit me! Oh, oh no! It's going to bite me again! Ouch! No! <laughs> okay, no! It fell off again. Okay. Okay, I saved it now. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, that's good. <laughs> then I went to the playground to play soccer with Wally and his two best friends. We have to change our names. I'm Wally the Tony, <laughs> said Wally smiling. I'm Ray the Clown, said Ray grinning. I'm Bill the Baby, said Bill giggling. Okay, I'll be funny, Jenny, I said triumphantly. Very good. Oh, I like that word triumphantly. Good work, James. Okay, so oh. my dad always pronounces triumphantly into trampoline. Trampoline. <laughs> okay, so my best friend, Heidi, well, she has got a trampoline inside right. her living room. Fantastic. A small trampoline or a, a big trampoline? A great big trampoline. And also, oh, wow. she has got teeny weeny plastic toy trampolines. Well, so when I was jumping up and down on the big trampoline, when she fired a teeny weeny trampoline onto the big, big trampoline, and when I bounced, the teeny weeny trampoline fell off. Oh no! <laughs> it's too small! <laughs> yep. And it's a bit elastic too, like an elastic band, like this. Mm. Well, like it doesn't mean it could propel yeah. you right up like an elastic. <laughs> Just like flying an owl. Also, during Christmas Day at school, okay, there is an activity. Well, now those balloons, and you make them into an owl. And there's an elastic band, and when you go like this, the 
you know, the balloon arrow goes through a balloon hole. And if it doesn't go to the balloon hole, it will shoot upwards or fall to the ground. Oh my goodness, wow. Well, I did try, but I'm not very good at archery. I know the feeling. I'm not very good at it either. I used to do archery, but not anymore. Yep. Whoa, it fell off again. Okay. Ah, Guess what? I scored every goal. This soccer match was played in a different way. Someone has to race the soccer ball before his or her teammates catch up. I always catch up with Ronnie, Ray, and Bill so that I could score some goals. Sometimes I let Ronnie and his two best friends catch up with me so that they could score some goals too. Ronnie, Bill, and Ray cheered when I scored more than one goal. Perfect. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, by the way, teacher. Aha. Okay. So there are two types of candy. Well, some of them are mint flavored. Okay, this one. Okay. How about this one? Why don't you need spearmint and ah, rip. tick pack mint. Again, it fell off again because it was... Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm going to change this spelling. It's a wriggly. E is here after a oh. wriggly. Mm, but it. now we read it wriggly. Oh. Okay, like yeah, this. Okay, like this. Oh, this is so funny. Wriggly. <laughs> <laughs> it also sounds like oh. this. Risely. Risely. <laughs> it sounds so funny. <laughs> well, Risely's spearmint is a type of, well, a type of chewing gum that tastes chewing like gum. spearmint. Mm -hmm. And Tic Tac like Mint. It. I've tried that before. It tastes. Well, no, I haven't tried it before. But I've tried Eclipse's. Meat. Well, when I popped one into my mouth, it's too, well, it tastes too minty. Well, when I popped it into my mouth, my mouth, you know, oh, sorry, my tongue starts to be, go a bit, well, it tried to, it started to burn. Oh, yeah, that's a very strong flavor. Have you ever tried Wrigley's Juicy Fruit gum? Do you nope. know Juicy Fruit? Nope. Oh, it's very tasty. But not minty, it's fruity. Mm -hmm. There's also Rajni's Double Mint. I like Double Mint, it's very good too. Which is your favorite, Spearmint or Double Mint? I like Mint, but I haven't tried Spearmint. No, I never tried Spearmint because in Taiwan we don't have Spearmint favorite you know, mentos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. Okay, let's continue with the story. I also cheered for Wally, Ray and Bill whenever they scored goals too. After break time when we had art lessons, I whispered to Alice that she could come to my house to play this Thursday because I have to tidy up me and the dishes room. I sat behind me and she said, okay, she'll still come to my house to play this Thursday. But well, I don't like me in the dishes room. It's dark pink. Good. I'm going to make a small change. Instead of me and Alicia's room, we still need to use a possessive pronoun. We can say Alicia's and my room. It's still my room instead of me. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, but I don't like my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it belongs to you. It's your room. So we have to say my. We wouldn't say me room or, um, I don't know, me book <laughs> or me computer. <laughs> or it's me book. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, how about this? <laughs> me bed. Oh, this is so funny. Me book. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, what was the other one? Oh, me and Alicia's room here. Yeah, we say my. Good. So, can I say... Can I say my room? 
yeah, my room, it's yours, uh, or Alicia's and yours, our, yeah. But because you're saying Alicia's then, and my? I know, can you say mine and Alicia's room? Mine room? No, I would keep it with my. It has to be mine. Okay. Yeah, you got it. And also, okay. I can also check if it is correct, because I can also use another computer, well, that is actually my dad's computer. It has got a special app called Grammarly. Ah, Check it out. It's actually good. a very great app. I like it too. It's very good. <laughs> yeah. I've seen Grammarly <laughs> on some, well, I've seen some of them on the computer. When I watch the video, well, it starts with this. Well, that is not another video. Well, it just popped out. So it said, Grammarly, blah, blah, blah. So it just talks about Grammarly. Grammarly is actually very popular. It is, yeah. A lot of people need help with grammar, and Grammarly is very helpful. Mm -hmm. Well done. I okay. hate dark what pink. I'm a tomboy, I whispered. I thought you liked it, Alice whispered back. But you can still come to my house to play this Thursday, I whispered confidently. Oh, Jenny, you're the best friend I've ever had, said Alice, giving me a big hug. Thanks, Alice, I said gratefully. When mom picked me up on a scooter after school. Wait, is a scooter a very small motorcycle? Kind of, yeah. Okay. After school, I asked her if I could invite Alice to our house to admire me and Alicia's room. Okay, it's my. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, scooter. Yeah, it's kind of like a maybe a safer kind of motorcycle. They don't tend to Wait, go as fast. By the way, more how did it turn into a crayon word? Okay, like this. Okay, I yes, want it to be like is. this. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay, see this? This one took a tumble. Well, it can turn oh. a somersault. And it even lands on its feet. <laughs> well done. <laughs> All right. Ah, what's going to happen? Uh, by the way, teacher, do you have a favorite sport? Uh, yeah, my Dodgeball? My favorite sport, not dodgeball, uh, actually my favorite sport is kickboxing, uh, it's boxing. Oh yes, kickboxing? Oh. Well, I never tried kickboxing, but well last time when I kicked the shuttlecock, so when my leg goes up, well it's a bit like I'm kickboxing. Very well, cool. <laughs> I like kickboxing it. is actually a bit like this. Oh no, I'm going to fall. So when I kick it, like this. Okay. Oh, very good. I have a question for you. Why didn't you see me last Saturday? Ah, the time where you had go. your day off. No, no, I had. Well, I had to take a day off because it was my sister's birthday party. You mean and your I little sister's birthday party? Exactly. So we had a family dinner together. Uh, so I could not work on that day. I had to help her celebrate. Yep. And I know your little sister. Well, when you were young, they teased you. <laughs> then, A little bit, yeah. Well, do they go... How about this? Do they go... Boom! Behind your back? Well, it scare me or surprise me sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like this? Boom! Or they might sneak up and bah! <laughs> <laughs> <That's> scary. <laughs> a bit like the video, okay, the horror video, well, in Ants Canada, well, at the end, uh, well, uh, maybe a zombie, a zombie popped out of the earth and goes, ah! Like this. <laughs> that was a very scary video. <laughs> Yep. It surprised me. Even though you told me it was going to pop out, I was still like very scared. Like your little sister? Well, you know, they go, boom! 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's Jenny, I'm too busy. And anyway, you have to tidy your Indonesia's room because it looks a bit messy, said mom. Okay, is this correct? You Indonesia's room? It should be your, Alicia's and your room. How about yours? Okay, your. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think my chair has a bit of a problem. Well, when I jumped, when I say, boo! Well, my chair has a problem, so just a minute. Excuse me. Okay, I can't find the buttons. Okay, I found it now. Oh! Okay. It's a bit better, but still like this one. Okay, I'll do it later. Yep. Yes. Well, when I finish reading this, well, on the next page, no. Well, the next page is actually after another page. Well, here comes Alicia. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I'll uh, keep so reading. Do you want to continue? Yeah. <laughs> Dad had finished making the two shelves. They came in a pale pink color. The two shelves were a terrible curse too, because they came with some rules. Me and the teacher have to put our favorite things on our shelves. Uh, I wanted to go back to your and Alicia's room. Sometimes yes. we do use yours, but we use it in a different way. Uh, for example, so I could say, uh, this is my water uh, and that is yours. Uh, yep. We use an S in that. Yes. Way. Yeah. I remember that. Well, mm, my on. teacher, Joe, taught me that. Mm, very good, yeah. Oh, this one keeps turning somersaults. Okay, oh how God. about this one? Very oh, nice. okay. Okay, or I'll put it back. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I had to keep my shelf clean and tidy. Also, so you wait for the next two and then for a third page, okay. Okay, so in the third page, wait for it, Alicia comes and complains. Oh my goodness, okay. I had to keep myself clean and tidy because mom told me I, that I shouldn't put my animals and insects on it, but I didn't care. Anyway, I didn't have to put my animals and insects in my cupboard or in the two cardboard boxes. Instead, I put my brush toys and my gel pens into my cupboard. Also, I can pin my Mighty Johnny posters and drawings onto my notice board. Yeah. And so by the way, I need to make... Okay. Cross posters and drawings. Okay, I need to cross posters and because it should be drawings. Anisha put her good, own good. things on her shelf. Good, well done. Oh, by the way, teacher, there's a picture of me kicking the ball into the goal. Okay. Ah, I saw that picture, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and also, yeah. I'm a bit good at soccer. Well, last time, oh great, oh great, during year two, okay. That time I was little, but my legs are strong. So there was, well, there was this person guarding, well, guarding wrong side of the field. And then when I kicked the ball very far, the guard had to run to keep up with the ball. Because I kicked the ball oh very far God. and the ball went whoosh to the other field. <laughs> well done. Well, wow, the guard is actually another really student. Well. It was Stephen, actually. Well, it's Stephen. Sorry, I said Stephen. It must be Stephen. Well, and Stephen had to keep up with the ball, so he did wrong, and he was nearly out of breath. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's quite something. 
All right. Uh, sorry, Janie, we're running out of time. Can we continue with the story? Yep. I'm scared I won't hear the end. Okay, we can continue it. Her four scented candles, a vase with a rose in it, her china dog, her china kitten, okay, kitten, her china rabbit, her diary, and her cardboard box containing her cosmetics in it. Also, by the way, do you know what does Anisha write in her diary? No, I mean in real life, she writes, well, she writes and draws a bit like a writing and drawing a comic book. Well, I've seen her drawings and they look a bit like a comic book. They well, look a bit like... I'm reading a comic book. Well, her drawings are yeah. actually great. And they look like she's drawing a comic. Very cool. I like comics. I would like to see something okay. like that. Okay. Well, oh, by the way, in her drawing, Okay, in her drawer, in her chest of drawers, she has got three unicorn lamps and a can of spring water. Okay, so these are the, this is, sorry, this is her cupboard. So, the three unicorns and the can of spring water are in those two cupboards. So, you won't see them now because the cupboards are closed. Of course. <laughs> well. Wait. By the way, okay. the picture, I need to see it. Oh, yeah. Go back. Mm -hmm. This is a vase with a rose in it. And these are four scented candles. And this is a cardboard box containing cosmetics. This is a diary. This is a china rabbit. This is a china... Well, it's a china dog. And this is a china kitten. Fantastic. Well done. Look at all these things. Does your little sister have a cupboard? Sorry, does your little sister have a shelf like that? Um, now she has her own house because she's grown up. But when she was young, she had a shelf. Yeah, definitely. And do you have your own shelf too when you were young? Of course, we all had our own shelf. Mm -hmm. Then do they mess with your things on your shelf? very often because they had their own things so it was okay they didn't mess with my things they didn't want my things when they I was young I've got a shelf so it is okay so I've got a white shelf so this is this shelf you know the white shelf and it is actually the same I keep a lot of books well I've got a great big collection of books and sometimes I need a cardboard box to put those books because oh my I've got so many books. So I'm many a books. bookworm. <laughs> that means well that done. I like reading. Very I put my good. own things on word. my shelf. My crayons, sketchbooks, butter pens and coloring pencils, my scorpion model, and my animals and insects, Wilma Will, Hercules, Hephaestus, Hades, Polly, Little Bull, Dionysus, Eddie, and Zeus. Also, I need to count if there are nine animals. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, done. Let's run through, explore, and coordinate a new thing. Okay, here comes Alicia. I was very glad, but Alicia burst in the fears. Okay, she's going to put complain again. Mom, Janie has put the toys on her shelf. The spoiling in the whole look of it, said Alicia. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at this. Look at all these things on the shelf. Lovely. Does your shelf look a bit like this? I did not have so many uh, insects and dolls uh, uh, or uh, insects uh, on my shelf. <laughs> Maybe more like books. Uh, what else? Those? Toys. Like those? Hmm. Not dolls. I like Ninja Turtles. Do you know Ninja Turtles? Yes, I've got <laughs> one. Ninja Turtles toys. I've got one. <laughs> well, 
It's actually a plastic one. Aha, uh -huh, I have like that. More like figures than dolls. Yeah. <laughs> you keep it off books, not me. Exactly. I loved reading when I was younger. I still like reading. And also look, a coloring pencil here, some coloring pencils there, here and there. A crayon here there and there, and a felted pen. There's actually another type of felty pen that I have showed you last time. Okay. Pencil. Touch. Sign. Pen. Wait, how do you say? Pencil, touch, sign, A. <laughs> pen. Okay, a pencil, touch, sign, pen. That is actually a felted pen. Very cool. I should look these up. Touch sign. Well, okay. in Chinese, felted pen is pronounced as, you know, in Chinese, felted pen is also called sign pen. Sign pen is oh, yeah. also felted pen. Ah, I see. Very good. Mom took Alicia's side again. Really, Jenny? Didn't I tell you that you should keep your toys in the two cardboard boxes? Also, you have to put your stationary stuff in your cupboard. So Mom, sweeping my animals and insects off the shelf with her hands. I think you want me to sit in a cardboard box all day long. I say sarcastically, picking up my animals and insects and comforting them. Do you know what a sarcastic name means? It means that this person is very embarrassed uh, it, who is embarrassed? The person who's being sarcastic or the person who they're talking to? The person, uh, maybe both. Oh yeah, no, yeah. maybe the person who are, the person, another person is talking to. Yeah, sarcastic is kind of, um, in a... In a bad way? It's not very nice sometimes, yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah. It means it's, 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 oftentimes when yeah we say things sarcastically, we're not saying it in a very nice way to somebody. We're uh, yeah, kind of being a little bit funny, but uh, not very nicely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next it's one. A bit mockingly. Yeah. Mockingly? Oh. Like this? Ha ha ha! Like that? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Yes, please, Mom. I would like you to let Jenny sit in a cardboard box all day long, said Alicia. Wait, why is there and comforting them? What is wrong with the computer? Is somebody playing tricks on Halloween? <laughs> okay. This is well, not. We can say comma. No, we don't need a comma. And this one has already appeared in another paragraph. Well, oh, the, the paragraph we read before. Mom, the, as if she was going to say, okay, now, now, do stop teasing my little Jenny, you two. Jenny, you can keep your animals and insects on your shelf, okay? Said so that. He was back being my kind dad now. You wouldn't mind if I spoiled the look of my shelf. Oh, okay. by the way, so when I said that, is somebody playing tricks on Halloween? This reminded me, oh well, there was a teacher with a broken computer and when she was talking to me, her computer went off. And then she said, is somebody playing tricks on Halloween? <laughs> and then she said, oh, I just want to hit this guy with a hammer and go whack. <laughs> well done. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. There's usually a lot of tricks are played on Halloween. It's like crazy. what? Say, oh, what boo, like this. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Away! Dad made the shelves and he could tell us what to put on our shelves. Alicia, I said triumphantly, putting my animals and insects back on my shelf. But if you take a look at our shelves, your shelf looks a bit messy, Janie, said Alicia, and she started to cry. That's the annoying thing about my sister. She's a cry baby. When Dad takes my side, Alicia starts crying like a baby. <laughs> Like this? Alright. <laughs> Good. Alright. What's next? That was right. 
I could keep my animals and insects on my shelf. But when Alicia saw me putting my animals and insects on my shelf, she said that I was making my shelf untidy on purpose. I didn't think that my shelf was messy when I invited her to my house on Thursday. When she walked into me and Alicia's room, she stared at the room in awe, looking amazed. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jenny, right. you're so lucky. I wish I'd got a bedroom like, just like your and Alicia's. Okay, type your. Okay. Whoa, what is this on? This one? Wait. And we would say here, because it would be just like yours, we'll say just like yours and Alicia. Yup. Yeah, we can use S. Wait, what about the last, well, the first one, you know, the writing on the scooter bit, and, and there's a, you and Alicia's room, so, is it like your and Denisha's room or yours and Denisha's room? So the first one is, is talking about, if we're using it as a possessive pronoun to talk about the room, like my room or your room. But in this one, we're using it like yours or mine. So we have to have this yep. here. Oh, okay. This one has somersaulted again. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's going to bite me again. Oh, bite careful. the cup instead. <laughs> Yahoo! It did bite the cup. Oh. <laughs> okay, bite the cup again. Okay, yes. so. Oh no! It's going to bite! No! Beetles are rowdy beetles. They're quite lively. like the tiger beetles. <laughs> like the well, tiger beetles. <laughs> they just like to bite. Well, sometimes they get a bit overexcited. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but in my journey, then it's even better. I've got the bed really got bashed out of shape because I took several fine leaps on it. I like jumping on my bed. It was like jumping up and down in a bounce house. I said, Trudy, don't you mind if you got told off? My mom tells me that I shouldn't jump on my bed, said the Alice. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I know what a bounce house looks like. It looks a bit like a prey house and you can bounce on it or jump up and down on the bounce house. They're so much fun, it's true. <laughs> well done, good work, Jamie. Alright, and that's it for part one. And in part two, so we've for got. Part two. Okay, in part two, Alicia showed Alice her three unicorn lamps. And also, she stole Alice away from me in the story. Oh no! I'm worried. I hope everything is okay. Okay. We'll and also, by time, the way, though. if we finish. Chapter 8, 9, and 10, we have to go back to 1, 2, 3, and 4 because we started from 5 and now we have to go back to 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I have to see the beginning. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Oh, well that's all for today's lesson, Jamie, and that's all the time we have. So thank you. It was good to see you again. And thank you for reading the next part of the story. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.